What's up, tubers? Teal here, some plastic fishing back at you tonight. I actually got a little gift in the mail today from AMPD Marine. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely do. We're going to talk about them a little bit tonight. I'm going to show you what I've done on the boat so far with their products. And then, super cool, the, uh, the owner out there actually sent me his new product. It's called a Skeeter Drawer. So, we're going to go put it on Steve and see what it's like. Stick around. I think we're going to like this one. Let's go. So before we head out there, let's just take a look at the uh, you know the product. Pretty much, we're gonna open up the box. You just sent me the box. There's the box right there. I actually will send you guys. I'll put a link on my uh, on this video description that will take you out to this actual product uh, for AMPD Marine. But uh, for right now, let's do the live video. See what we can get. So let me go ahead and unbox it. Um, looks like we got. I'm not sure what this is, but we'll figure out what it is. Step drawer installation guide. So we'll be using that for sure. Always want to read the directions, no doubt there. And we're going to open this thing up. I really like the products that he sends me because every time, uh, at least for what I did for the drawers and the boat, and I'll go show you on Steve in a minute, no drilling holes or anything like that. It's pretty much been straightforward. So I'm hoping this is going to be the same way. I didn't see any screws in that little package, so I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to do. So here we go again. I got a, got a couple uh, stickers in here. Let me get them out of the way. Just some cool, cool stickers he sent over. This is the drawer. Now this looks really cool. Now imagine if you can see the top of this. It's probably hard at the camera angle. Let me hold the camera angle like this. See how that turns like that? So the step on my ZX250, it actually turns like this. And underneath the step is basically just dead space. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use this. This is a drawer that is actually going to go underneath that step and then we'll be able to pull it out, put our scale in there, put stuff like that in there. It's going to be awesome to add a whole other compartment to my boat. So let's go do that. But actually before we do that, one more piece in here. I didn't even realize there was another piece. Let me go ahead and pull that out because I'm sure it's got to stick somewhere. Ah, yes, this would be more than likely now i have not read the uh the instructions we will read the instructions here in a minute but this looks like you just slide it underneath uh or i guess it would be like for you guys it would be more like this you just slide it underneath have that tuck into where the uh the plastic or the fiberglass is back there it's also got the sticky stuff on the side so you get that in there centered in there correctly and then probably just slide it in just like a like you would a cabinet drawer so that's what i'm guessing but i'm going to read the instructions and then we're gonna go out and put it on Steve and check it out, let's go. All right guys, so I'm out here on Steve now. I just wanna kinda of show you some of the things that we've already purchased from AMPD Marine. So let me show you this, this is my day box. Now this thing's probably gonna be a little bit of a disaster, but I'll go ahead and show it to you anyways. But here's how the day boxes are coming along. Now I'll send you a link to the video to, to show you what we did here, but these are way better than the Skeeter day boxes. They've held up, no cracks, no nothing. Everything's been perfect. I got another one over here as well. Open this up for you. This is my other day box. So this stuff is staying very, very organized. That was why I wanted to do it. I got some soft plastics everywhere. You guys know I love to throw the soft plastics, but there we go. And then in the middle in here, we have basically a team deck on the ZX250, which meaning that the rod holders are actually over here on this side, or actually, sorry, right here in the middle as opposed to be on the side. So what we did is we changed that deck and now it's no longer a rod box. It actually holds all of our baits and everything. You can see here, very, very organized. Might not look organized to you on camera, but I'm tr telling you, it's super organized compared to what we used to have. And so we're super happy with that. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna install that little drawer. And so that drawer actually goes on the 250 down below uh, the actual step. So let me pull all this out of here real quick. We just got some baits and stuff down in here. Let me pull it out and I'll show you. Get that out of there. So I'll try to get the GoPro down here as low as I can. And you can see that's the step right there on the ZX250 and so what we're gonna do is we are going to take that drawer and put it in there. I'm gonna go read the instructions and then we're gonna do the installation. All right guys, so I read the instructions and basically what I have to do is I need to take out, let me see if I can take this off here again. I gotta take out this step and the way I'm gonna take out this step is there's two screws here. There's one right here 
and there's one right here. So we're just gonna take both those out. We're gonna clean that back part off and then we're gonna start installing the drawer. All right, next thing we gotta do is clean that off. So I'm gonna go get some Clorox wipes. We gotta clean that thing. All right, so I got my pieces on here. Looks like everything's in place, ready to roll. Hopefully I got those facing the right direction. I got them both facing towards the inside. We'll see when I put the drawer on, I'm sure I can take them off. So the next thing I need to do, I've already got all that clean. Pretty much what I need to do is just unpeel this double sticky tape. So get it started here. Should be four of them, so we got another one on this side. And we got another one on this side. Hopefully my head's not in the way. Alright, now as we make sure that this is dead center, we're gonna put it in to the back just like this, keeping it dead center. Hopefully not touching the sides either. I'm actually going to use it with my hands just so I can pull it in and get it, make sure I get it straight in line and I don't get it stuck to anything before I get it in there where I want it. That's absolutely perfect. So now I'm just going to press them all in. pretty easy all right so I got my little side clips on now I just need to line this up so uh, you're probably gonna see my behind for a second but hopefully we can get it and all I'm doing right down here is I'm just gonna make sure that these two things right here line up on those tracks so I got to get them nice and on those tracks and once I do that we're gonna be golden Got it. Door installed, baby. Love that. Love that. I didn't put that in the bottom of the drawer down there. All right. Now, next thing we got to do, it's like we need to pull the side thing out. So, pull this out. So, pull how that comes out. It says that that side thing comes out, so I'm going to have to give that a whirl. All right, total idiot, but hey, this is why you like intro video or uh, instruction videos, right? So this little black piece right here, I was confused originally because I thought it actually went right down in here uh, on that little black piece. It's getting kind of dark, sorry about that, but it actually goes right here on the inside where that little lip is right there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick it down here and I'll show you real quick. Super easy to install. I was making it way more difficult than it needed to be. But hey, that's what I do. That's the name of my game when I'm installing stuff. So right there is how it's supposed to look. So I don't know if you guys can see this where my finger is. Get a little bit closer here. But that's how it's supposed to look. And that keeps that door from getting out too far and getting overextended. And that's it guys, I'm gonna put the uh, step back on. We're gonna see what it looks like. My next step was to install the step back. So that's what I'm doing right now. There we go. 
like a glove, baby. Fits like a glove. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not. I might even have to do another video, but that's some gorgeous stuff right there. Easy as pie. AMPD Marine. You guys got to check them out, man. They got some good stuff. Till next time, hope you catch your PB. Peace out.